Hey, GovCon Giants family, your host, Eric Coffey, here of the number one podcast teaching you government contracting for all, teaching everyday people how to win extraordinary contracts, helping the small guys compete with the big boys. Again, we're called GovCon Giants for a reason, because we grow like Jack the Beanstalk family. So listen, stay tuned. Today's episode, we are doing our famous bid opportunities on beta.sam. I know, I know what you're saying. Eric, I don't see contracts posted on beta.sam. And for that very reason, the first thing I want you to do, if you have not already watched this video, Hidden Contracts, make sure to watch that video. It says, these contracts are not posted on beta.sam or Unison. Where do you find them? So again, before we get started with our famous beta.sam bid opportunities, weekly listing, okay, I just wanted to make sure that all of you uh, watch that video. That's a really important video out here because, again, uh, there's a lot of noise in the environment out there in the stratosphere. You're getting information from conferences and events and people on Clubhouse and people in uh, IG chats and DMs. And so I'm trying to help you eliminate from listening to all of that outside noise, right, and only focus on factual, actual information provided by documentation provided by uh, SBA documents, DOD documents, paper forms, things of that sort. Not what somebody's thinking, not someone's uncle's radical idea. So again, uh, before we get started, if you have not already watched this video, make sure to go over and take a look as to, again, where are the hidden contracts. But today, we are looking at bid opportunities and beta.sam. And again, when I say bid opportunities, it's really source of thoughts and RFIs. So again, don't mistake what I'm saying. It's really source of thoughts, RFIs. We call them bid opportunities. Why? Because part of our trifecta to achieving success in the federal arena is RFIs and source of thought responses. It is a necessary, necessary must do for all small businesses out here. Even if it's not for your particular company, share this information with others out there so that they can start doing these things. So again, uh, we want to run through uh, our beta.sam information. And yes, I know my lighting is down. I've turned it down intentionally. By the way, if you have not already picked up your copy of GovCon Launch Book or the Billion Dollar Playbook 2020 Revised Edition, do so at Amazon Store. So again, let's jump into it, bid opportunities. So here I'm on beta.sam.gov. Um, in order to do this, in order to make this work, you have to be logged in. So you've got to go through, you've got to set up your login.gov account in order to log into beta.sam. Uh, so in order to do exactly what I'm doing on this video, you must, 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 should I say another must? Must be logged in. All right, so we're logged in. Um, and what we want to do is go to contract opportunities, click search, and you will see the search result. Uh, again, remember, for, we call it bid opportunities because that's the only way for some people out here that they will be attracted to even doing these techniques because a lot of times we are under the false narrative that if we bid a job that's faster than helping the government do their market research to determine if there's any qualified small business out here that are competent and capable of doing this work. And if I said it too fast, that's because I'm excited. So I'll repeat myself. A lot of times we are, and I'm going to go to the big screen, a lot of times we're under the impression that if we just bid a project, that that is a faster approach, a faster uh, attempt at securing your first government contract rather than responding to RFIs and source of thought. And so many people out here are under that assumption, presumption, uh, because I'm pretty sure no one ever told you that. Um, and my experience is, uh, respond to RFIs and source of thought is a much quicker pathway to actually going from um, zero uh, knowledge or zero uh, contracts with this particular agency to having my first opportunity with that agency. Why is that? The reason why I found it's easier for me um, in terms of or faster is because I'm not necessarily expecting them to award me the, or, or give me an opportunity to bid the sources sought that I'm attacking or that I'm pursuing. Um, but what happens is it's one way, again, remember three pillars of success. It's one way in which we can 
um, become acknowledged by that agency, uh, increase their awareness of us, uh, have an opportunity to talk to them about other potential opportunities, uh, build brand awareness. It's a form of marketing ourselves. So again, um, people are looking for, uh, they, have sol- they have problems they need to solve. So the agency has a problem they need to solve. They don't know who to turn to to solve it. They are essentially expressing their concerns, uh, saying, hey, we have this issue and we need help. Is there anyone out here who can help us? And even though you may not be able to help them on that, they get to learn about your business, learn about your company, and realize that you could be a potential problem solver uh, in another arena. And so again, they have on their side, right? They've got their book, let's say, with all their opportunities and all the things that are coming out. And but again, they don't have anyone. They don't have a go-to person. And so now you submit a response to their market research, and now they're saying to themselves, "Hey, maybe potentially I have someone here who could be my go-to person." Okay, and then that gives you an opportunity to talk to them, to have further conversation, engage again if they allow it. So, again, one of our pillars of success is definitely uh, respond to source of thoughts, respond to RFIs, and that's why we call it bid opportunities because uh, it is an opportunity to eventually, again, we're playing the long game here, right? Um, to have a sole source or simplified acquisition or um, bid something that's not publicly listed. All right, just want to clear that up. So again, going back to beta.sam, you must be logged in in order to take advantage of this. And once you're logged in, we go to type of notices, called source of sought. And then I like to go back and look at a week's worth of data. So let's go back and let's say we posted in the past week. Um, by the way, I've skipped something important. When you click this, if you don't click filter, it won't filter the results. Uh, I found on average about 500 results weekly uh, there's 543 and the next step is really important uh, because beta.sim is not efficient at all uh, what you want to do is you want to click download to actually download it uh, and I don't do PDFs I do it in CSV so that way I can manipulate the data uh, and so I click CSV and click download and then it starts to download right now once it's downloaded and again, I'm like that chef in the kitchen, right? Once it's downloaded, what you will see is a spreadsheet that looks a lot like this. And once you have that spreadsheet up, um, then you will see and you'll be able to easily scroll through all 500 opportunities. As you can see, I can scroll with my finger and a few seconds through all 543 opportunities. And ultimately, um, that's the kind of power that you want to have. And until beta.sam um, fix their system, this is the best way that I found to be able to easily go through at least once a week and look at RFIs. Uh, we have a, another platform that we're using that we're beta testing now um, that will hopefully make it easier for all people or persons. But for today, this is the most efficient way that I found to do it. Um, and then really, we just start scrolling down and looking at the opportunities. And what I like to do is I go, like to go through a couple examples and show people out here uh, what this stuff looks like because so many people are confused so many people are unsure um, I'm gonna say this when you're looking at this and you see something that you like make sure that you qualify if you do not qualify if you don't meet all the prerequisites uh, it's not worth responding because they're looking for people who actually qualify to do the work so even though this is uh, something that I highly suggest or recommend uh, I don't want people responding uh, aimlessly uh, that don't necessarily qualify. If, in fact, you qualify, you should respond. If you don't qualify, then maybe you can find a teaming partner uh, to bring along to help you be able to qualify. But again, just want to stress that. If you don't qualify, don't respond. Let's run through a few of these and see if we see anything that makes sense. Um, design build for HVAC repair at a golf course in New Mexico. Uh, let's see. Source of saw, unit breakers, uh, Bonville Dam, fire control system, radar attack characterization system, uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Sacramento, has got some quality assessment testing, BPA. Hold on, let me pull this up. Hey, I've got some people that do QA testing. Um, this might be good. I've got 
two people in my group that do QA testing. So what we want to do, um, I normally will grab this, I flip back to the other screen, and then here, under keywords, I copy and paste, pull it up, and then we take a look at this opportunity. Quality Assurance Laboratory Field Testing Services for the Corps of Engineers, so it's just SOT. Um, all right, and then here, click on it, pulls up the documents. This is plugging, sending it to. All right, and this is a source of announcement. Tells you the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Sacramento, is looking for quality assurance testing. Personnel, facilities, equipment, transportation, materials. Do quality assurance, laboratory field testing services. Uh, we know a lot of people. I know three people at least in our group that does this. Uh, and so here, this is what they're asking you to submit. Your business name and address, right? So these are the things that they're asking you to submit. Business name, address, name, recumbent, representative, and title, type of business, cage code, any contract vehicles um, that you may be on that potentially... And then it says, this information market research owns does not preclude your company from responding to this notice. So again, even if you're not on any of these vehicles, uh, that's not they're not saying for you not to respond. Let me kind of get out the way here. Uh, you see this? It says here you should information. Interested businesses should submit a brief capability statement package addressing these questions. No more than five pages. So. Here, they're telling you exactly what they need, they're telling you what they want, and this is all of the information that you need to put together for this response. So, why should we do this? Because again, um, all of this information you have, you know your business, you know the address, you know your company, you know your gauge code. So the only thing really that you have to uh, add on there is if you're in a contract vehicle, and if you are, you know that as well. So, this is a very easy way to get in front of agencies, uh, to get in front of the contracting officers to let them know that you're out here and you can provide services. I'm going to highlight this because I do have people in my group that I believe uh, qualify for this opportunity. Let's keep going. Removal, repair, and reinstallation of a tensile tester, uh, emergency hazardous materials, incident response, transportation vessel for personnel and stores at Pearl Harbor, IT, strategic plans. Uh, Pre-solicitation, build up for space, munitions, warehouse, and office facilities, janitorial services. Let's see. Something that stands out. Some more inspections services. Uh, this is for overhead hoist and mobile crane. Leasing of office space. Uh, we see that every week. Um, let's see what else is out here. They're doing something in the Middle East. This is Jordan. They're building some lights. Coast Guard in Puerto Rico. Center for Information Technology, Wide Area Network Optical Services. Flight Simulator Facility. Barge, IDIQ, um, I know someone does barges. And yeah, I don't have time to go through all 500, but I just want to show you some examples. Um, a lot of time people actually use my videos just to watch and see um, if there's anything on there that makes sense to them. So I'll go slow. Uh, multifamily housing construction inspection services. I know people that do construction inspection services. Um, I can think of a couple offhand. Renovate corrosion control hangar. I've done that before. Laundry and dry cleaning, aerial demonstration. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, overhead ambulance services, snow and ice removal services, COVID-19 sanitation of NOAA ships in Alaska ports by local companies. Gun mounts, batteries, Airbus hangars. I mean, the government buys a ton of stuff. Transportation services. Let's see, where's this transportation services at? Let's take a look at this JAA transportation services because we always have people that are in that space. Let's go back over here. This is the fuels division. This is DLA, trucking long distance. Um, all my trucking people, you know, folks always ask me about this stuff. Um, provide transportation services for turbine fuel aviation. This is Kona's work. Um, so you're going to be providing fuel from designated defense fuel support points to designated forward support bases via tank truck into tactical bags, trucks, or tanks within the continental United States as described. So again, uh, this is something that I know we have people out there that could do it. Back to our database. Medical regions in Okinawa, Japan. Parking and traffic control plans. Davis for air show. Training support, IDIQ, uh, DINFOS, I'm not sure what DINFOS is. I'm sure there's some people out here that know what DINFOS training is. Um, let's see. It's funny, training help desk support for TMS software. If you know TMSS software, the government's looking for training and help desk support. I'm telling you, um, at least a temporary dormitory and clear AFS Alaska probably doesn't fit a lot of people's needs. They're still looking for N95s out here. <laughs> Discipline feasi feasibility study. Architect of the Capitol seeking time to perform a feasibility study to determine whether all ASC employees discipline. All right, if you do feasibility studies, discipline feasibility studies, this is for you. HUD Office for Innovation. Brickle Plaza Federal Building, Miami. Ooh, that looks like me, 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 me. We could do that. Call me, where you at? In fact, I'm going to send this over to my guy today. We're going to go after this. Riot gear. I know there's people out here that provide riot gear. Smart license. SAP Intelligent Enterprise Suite Transformation. Chemical analysis of the biological samples for organic contaminants. Janitorial services at Twin Lake. Data warehousing. All right, we're approaching 20 minutes. I'm going to kind of skip through, and you guys get the idea. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this, trust me. I, I, I really do like doing this uh, because, again, uh, look, stock order beds and mattresses. I have a mattress guy. I'm going to go dig him up and send this to him. Um, uh, yeah, so for me, I have a blast doing this 
because of years of uh, talking to folks out there in the spectrum, um, I've run across some interesting people, uh, on man ground vehicles that I've seen dredging, dredge boats, um, I man aerial systems. So I'm just seeing the gamut of uh, opportunities out there. So uh, and people that could do them. So when I see this stuff, it's like I've matched together. Look, there's a Maytok for geotechnical services, uh, Maytok for design build services, uh, and various construction projects for U.S. fish and wildlife. Um, another Maytok for construction. So I'm going to go back and send some of this stuff to my people. Let me highlight it. These things all make sense to me. Purchase of an aircraft, Boeing 737, 700. I know people know how to buy aircraft. Um, so armored car services in Portland and Vancouver. Window upgrades. Rental rental of portable shower trailers. I think uh, I I really believe that we should all be digging through this list once a week, at the very least. Uh, it doesn't take long to do it. Uh, I can scroll through this list in about ten minutes, and um, I think it's a much more efficient, effective use of your time than looking at jobs for bid. Um, and that's. So, so I tell all of my Gulfstream EDU students to take a look at this um, RFIs list and respond. And uh, time after time, they get calls back, they get invitations to bid, um, and they follow up uh, with the office or the agency and set up with the small business offices uh, capabilities briefing. So this is a strategy that I encourage everyone to employ uh, and put it inside their arsenal. Uh, along with whatever else they're doing. Integrated education delivery contract. Oh, I'm, oh, we're looking at this one. Um, definitely looking at this one. Integrated education delivery contract. The GL build integrated delivery procurement associate RFI has been canceled. Ah, okay. All right, so the, the, the digital form of the GL build has been canceled. You never know. I just, again, you're checking to see what's going on. All right. Uh, satellite services, microscopes. Cylinders, plumbing, vocational training services. Uh, we, I've done HVAC vocational training services before. Uh, so again, this, the, I mean, you'd be surprised out here, uh, the people that that have this ability to do these things that are not actually taking advantage of this. We need more good contractors out there. I can never say it enough. We need more good contractors out there. Market Survey Home Center for Space. Uh, market survey renovate building several for construction. Uh, market survey is being determined uh, to renovate some buildings 704, 705. Um, let me take a look at that because again, Homestead Air Force Base is where I started my journey on government contracting. So let me see if there's anything exciting here. Uh, and again, you get to see what I do. I mean, this is. This is what I do. I do the same things I tell you to do. Now let's take a look. Market service being conducted to determine a reasonable number of interested small businesses to set this future project aside. Total renovation is 2,700 square feet. Uh, one to five million. Definitely stuff we're going to respond to. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely something we want to respond to um, right out the gate. So, let's... Um, Let's get our, our, our letter of interest together. Uh, let's get our documents together so that we can respond. Let's keep going, and we will finish up.
shortly. Highlighting this for my people. Combatant Capability Development Command. So they're looking for laboratory support. VISN5 Autodesk Training. I know this written how to use Autodesk. Um, I looked at Autodesk a long time ago. There's some folks out there that are experts at this that can provide and help the government bring their training to the table. Uh, geospatial predictive analysis. I know people here that do stuff like that. Um, there's some lodging needs for hotels and motels. Uh, let's take a look at that and we will wrap up with the lodging needs today. So over here, let's take a look at the lodging needs and we will close out with that. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. Hope you're having a wonderful new year. I hope that 2021 is treating you well thus far. Uh, and I'm hoping also that we can take, you know, I can help provide some encouragement and support to folks out there uh, along the way of their path and their journey of doing government contracts. I love sharing success stories. We have so many. In fact, one of our students yesterday uh, announced in our Tuesday calls that he was awarded um, a multi-year contract to provide the state of Georgia with electrostatic uh, cleaning services throughout the entire state, one of 15 companies. So congratulations to them for receiving that announcement yesterday. Uh, following up this last opportunity, cover telecommunications equipment services representation. I thought we were looking at lodging. Okay, I pulled down the wrong PDF. You guys let me put on the wrong PDF. I was trying to do two things at once, talking to you about the student and then reading this. All right, here we go. All right, so look, there's a blanket purchase agreement, BPA, that's an IDV. We've learned about IDVs. If you don't remember IDVs, uh, we've got a video on that. The government's going to be awarding task orders against this BPA. The uh, call limit is 10,000, BPA limit is 249. So it's really not that big, but great to start off with. Um, the contractor shall furnish accommodations in the Virgin Islands National Guard on a rental basis. Um, Candace, we just spoke yesterday and we talked about Virgin Islands and having opportunities. This is perfect for you. Uh, I'm going to send it over. You're in the Virgin Islands and we just spoke last night and I talked about how many opportunities that I see for the Virgin Islands. So, hey guys, listen, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that video today. Uh, welcome back to a new 2021. Um, make sure, again, visit our website, govcongiants.com, so that you can be part of our email list. It's very easy. Go to our website, sign up, and join the 8,000 so other persons that are on our list learning, engaging, and finding about any and all opportunities that exist in the federal arena. Uh, we want you to be a part of this journey. We want to be a part of your journey, and we want to help you succeed. So again, when you get a chance, visit our website right there on the screen. Sign up for our newsletter. Join the number one online community for federal contractors. I'll see you in a couple days.